Well, Nick thinks he's a, a man of everything. A Wikipedia man. He's a thick jam. He, just, he knows everything. <laughs> if you ask him. Um, yeah, we, we obviously play a lot of golf, a lot of practice rounds, and uh, Jazz likes to play some music normally on the tee box and walking down the fairway. His favorite artist is Taylor Swift, which is kind of, kind of sucks. <laughs> That's not it. Just so many of them, you know. Um, people mistaken for him for a beggar, you know, coming into the course, <laughs> try to ask for money. Just happened. That actually happens a lot, you it know. Does, it doesn't happen. I forgot his golf shoes yesterday morning in the pro am. That was pretty embarrassing for me. But uh, you know, he didn't let me forget about it for the first few holes. But one of the other caddies came and saved me and brought his shoes, so it wasn't so bad. For me, uh, 17 has been 2017 has been a really good year for me. Uh, I start off the year with no card, just ADT, and then at the end of the year I have three cards. And uh, most memorable moment would be uh, winning in Bangladesh for sure. It was my first win. I needed that win to uh, to get me playing right, so, so it really helped me out there. Um, yeah, I, unfortunately I wasn't there at the win earlier in the year. You'd probably say that's why you won, but um, <laughs> yeah, we've had some pretty good rounds. We had a uh, 66 in the third round of the CIMB Classic, which is kind of my hometown in Malaysia, so that was pretty cool. A lot of the crowd were sort of cheering for, for Jazz, some of them were cheering for me, so yeah. That most of good. most of the guys were cheering for you. Oh, they yeah. go like, Nick, Nick, pew, da, pew, da. They're I'm, like, I'm kind of a big deal. I was like, who, who is this? <laughs> who am I? <laughs> and then recently, uh, just, just last week or a couple of weeks ago in Spain, uh, he managed to chip in for Eagle on the, uh, the last hole of the tournament to get his European tour card, so that was, that was pretty oh, cool. That's Well, he's just the look of him is homeless, right? <laughs> That's so hard. Okay, I was gonna say talented, but I'll probably say annoying. Uh, I guess for me, the rewarding thing is you know being in contention and seeing Jazz's name on the leaderboard a lot of the weeks, and uh, yeah, it's just the excitement of being in contention and doing well in tournaments. Yes, for me, I mean, you know. Nick is a really good caddy, you know, and a really good friend. So when we're out there under pressure, I need someone that reliable and keeps me away from getting angry. I would say uh, me because uh, Nick's just a background noise. <laughs> he was just there to to show I, off his beard. <laughs> I provide I provide all the information, all the technical stuff, and then I, I let Jazz think that he's made the decision. But yeah, I guess it's teamwork in the end. Yeah, Nick takes care of me. Maybe it's part of his job. Maybe he just doesn't feel like he wants to do, but uh, he did. Uh, I think he he takes care of me really good. Um, he, when we share our hotels or our room, uh, he always packed up everything before we go, sleep before, uh, after me, and then wakes up before me, getting everything prepared, so I don't need to worry about anything. Yeah, I guess it's my job to pack up the golf bag and put snacks and drinks and everything, make sure everything's in there. Uh, if I take care of the golf bag, then Jazzy can take care of the golf Beef. <laughs> uh, yes, a great big, big ass steak. A great big steak. That would be good. The biggest steak we can find.